Welcome to Film My Run. I'm Stephen Cousins. Today we are just going to test two stride foot pods. Now, in theory, each stride foot pod should give exactly the same distance measurement. I'm going to run on the My Run treadmill. I will be able to see what speed the My Run treadmill is moving at. And ideally, both stride foot pods that I'm wearing, one on my left foot and one on my right foot, would read the same as the treadmill. However, I know that that's probably not going to be the case. But what should be the case is that each foot pod should read the same. Whether or not they're the same as the treadmill is neither here nor there, but they should both read the same as each other because they're the same unit with the same firmware. I'm going to press start on the treadmill and away we go on the Watopia run bar. So you can see the one in front of me in the orange t-shirt that is uh, my alter ego, which is filmmyrun.com, and then S Cousins just below that. So we're running at eight kilometers per hour now. The stride foot pod, um, which is called filmmyrun.com, is running on an iPhone. The other stride foot pod is connected to my PC via Bluetooth. This is the one I normally use. So the iPhone and the computer are, are sitting together on the table about a meter away from my feet. So the numbers to look at are on the right hand side there. S Cousins 742 per kilometer and film my run 730 uh, That's jumping around all over the place that one isn't it? Can't quite make up its mind. So there's 500 meters so we'll bump it up to nine kilometers an hour now. 8.8, 8.9 for film my run. 8.7, 8.8 for me. Remember, my treadmill is reading nine kilometers an hour. So you would expect the strides to just be slightly slower. So there's a lot more fluctuation in one of the foot pods than the other. So there's one kilometer done, so we'll go up to 10 kilometers an hour now. How long does it take for the strides to respond? Not all that long, really. There's My stride is already up to 9.9, 9.8. And let's have a look at the film My Run stride. 9.9 .9 as well. Although the film My Run Stride is fluctuating more, I'm going to argue that the film My Run Stride is slightly more accurate in terms of keeping to the speed of the treadmill. My other one is reading slightly slower all the time, just marginally slower all the time. It does look as though the film My Run Stride is just getting slightly further ahead. Is that because the foot pods are made slightly differently? Or is it to do with the transfer of data between the foot pod and the iPhone or the foot pod and the PC? Is it to do with internet and server issues? There are lots and lots of variables that we don't know about, aren't there? Lots and lots of variables that will alter the way data is transferred and received and interpreted. So we're now up to 11 kilometers an hour. Now let's have a look at the film My Run stride. 10.9, 10.8, 11. Much closer than that one. I actually don't know which foot pod is transmitting to which device, the left foot or the right foot to the PC or the iPhone. So we are now two and a half kilometers in. And now, but look, 2.48, so 20 meters behind now. If you want to go and buy a Stride foot pod, go and visit their website, stride.com. They are about $200. So it's an expensive purchase, but if you are running regularly on Zwift, it will give you the most accurate pace of all the foot pods. None of the foot pods are perfect, but the Stride is equal across all speeds. So you can run at five kilometers an hour, 10 kilometers an hour, 15 kilometers an hour, 20 kilometers an hour, and the stride will keep up with that. Whereas most of the foot pods will give you inconsistent readings. So at five kilometers an hour, they'll read too fast. They might be okay at 10 kilometers an hour, but then by 15 kilometers an hour, they're reading too slow. They can't keep up. And by 20 kilometers an hour, they're nowhere near. So the stride will give you the most accurate speed pace reading across 
a wider variety of speeds on Zwift. So here we are at three kilometers now. So let's just stop. Right, so you can see that both foot pods have managed to stop perfectly well. You will find some of the cheaper foot pods will just keep running and not recognize that you've stopped. I've taken the foot pod that was on my left shoe off. And now we'll start running again and we'll see which, or I'll start walking. We'll see which foot pod starts going. Okay, interesting. The foot pod I'm wearing is actually in a pouch. So let's slow down. It's not on a clip, it's sitting in a pouch. So what I'm gonna do now, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna now take the foot pod that was in the pouch and put it on the clip and take the foot pod that was in the clip and put it in the pouch and see if there's any difference. So I'm now at 10 kilometers an hour. Okay, so immediately I can see that we are exactly the same as we were before. So the foot pod that was reading more accurately, the film My Run foot pod, which was on the clip, but is now in a pouch on my right foot, is still reading more accurately than the foot pod which is now in the clip on my left shoe. I mean, the thing is, the other foot pod is, look at that, 9.9 .9 is accurate enough. I mean, I'm not gonna sniff at that. 9.9 .9 kilometers an hour is perfectly acceptable. Okay, I'm gonna say that the foot pod on my left shoe, the S Cousins foot pod, is now reading slightly more accurately than when it was in the pouch. But the film my run pod is still more accurate, even though it's in the pouch, where it's looser and possibly moving around a bit more, it's still more accurate. The treadmill is reading 10 kilometers an hour, but that's just because that's what the internal electronics of the treadmill are telling you. It's not necessarily exactly the speed of the belt that's going physically under your feet. So we've got one more kilometer to do. I'm gonna do 5K today. One more kilometer to do. I'm just gonna move the foot pod that's on my left foot, that is the S Cousins foot pod. I'm gonna move it higher up my laces. Okay, so I've, I've moved the foot pod higher up my laces. The theory is that the further away from my toes, more of an angle the foot pod is, the less accurate it will be. So I'm expecting uh, less accuracy for the S Cousins foot pod. Let's go. So after 300 meters, I think we can definitely say that the foot pod on my left foot, the S Cousins stride, is definitely reading slower simply because I've moved it further up my laces away from my toes. Okay, there's four and a half kilometers. Let's stop again. So now if I can manage this, I'm gonna replace the foot pod back lower down on the laces nearer the toes, as flat as I can get it. And then I'm gonna try and swap around the devices so that the foot pod that is now connected to the PC, I'm gonna connect it to the iPhone. Right, so here we are back on the Watopia run path. The filmmyrun.com avatar is just behind me. In theory, because we've swapped over the foot pods, the S Cousins foot pod should now be the more accurate foot pod. So let's let's see what happens. We, we should find that the S Cousins foot pod is more accurate than the Film My Run foot pod. If it's not, then it's something to do with the transfer of data between the Stride foot pod and the iPhone or the Stride foot pod and the PC. So up to 10 kilometers an hour. And let's have a look at the Film My Run avatar. So he's still sitting there from earlier on when we did four and a half kilometers. And there you go. So the foot pod that I am now running on as S Cousins continues to be the more accurate foot pod. I mean, that other foot pod is still very accurate, isn't it? You know, 9.8, 9.9. The film My Run version of me is a lot more buff, isn't he? They're both fluctuating quite a lot, but the foot pod that has been the most accurate foot pod throughout the whole test continues to be so. Keep looking at the numbers there on the right hand side, look. The film My Run foot pod actually seems to be doing a little bit better these past couple of minutes. Let's go up to 12 kilometers an hour for the last little bit. So now we've gone up to 12 kilometers an hour, the film My Run foot pod 
which is the least accurate one, or has been, is now slightly better. Okay, we're gonna call it a day there. And so there is the end of the test. So what we've discovered from that, I have two stride foot pods, both running on the same firmware, both fully charged batteries, one on my left foot in a clip, one on my right foot in a pouch. And what we've done is we've run like that. Then I've swapped the foot pods over. So the one that was in the pouch is now in the clip on my left foot. And the one that was on my left foot in the clip is now in the pouch. And we've run like that for a little bit. And then we moved the foot pod up the laces on the left shoe. So I put the clip higher up the laces away from the toes. That definitely produced a slower result or a less accurate result in line with the treadmill. When we swapped the foot pods from the clip to the pouch and the pouch to the clip, we saw no discernible difference. So you can put your foot pod in a pouch like this and attach it to your shoe and it should read pretty much the same. Do not put the foot pod higher up on your laces. Put it low down on your laces, as close to your toes as you can get it and as flat on your shoe as you can get it. That will definitely make sure it is slightly more accurate. Then we swapped the foot pods over. So one was running on the iOS device and the other one was running on the PC. The one on the iOS device was more accurate. So regardless of whether you're connected to an iOS device or a PC or a Mac, via Bluetooth or whether you're in a pouch or on a clip on the left foot or the right foot, the more accurate stride remained the more accurate stride. The stride that was less accurate was only running at 9.8, 9.9 when running at 10 on the treadmill, whereas the stride that was more accurate was running at 9.9 .9 and 10. So you know, the difference is very little indeed, really. Um, so that's it, that's my uh, kind of little test of two different stride foot pods on different feet both connected via Bluetooth to either an iOS device or a PC. You can see that across various paces, the stride is an accurate foot pod. And whether you've got a slightly dodgy stride or a good stride, they're both gonna be pretty good. That's it, take care, see you soon, bye-bye.